state your emergency. I don't know what to do. My son's been really hurt. There's blood everywhere. with their inquiries. The girl's boyfriend was formally arrested today. The death sentence has been officially resurrected. Guilty. 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 I'm here to... Don't tell me. Ron Spencer's daughter. No. I mean, yes. Yes, but I'm here as an interviewer from the Herald. Ah. Nothing like a bit of nepotism to get the career rolling, eh? I'm here to interview Stephen Wilson. Murderer on death row. Yes, I know Wilson. Why is your dad sending you after a story like that? Actually, Mr Wilson specifically requested me. So, if you'd be so kind as to show me to him, you can get my story underway. Alright then. I don't know why you're bothering that. Everyone knows he's guilty. Mr. Wilson, I'm here from the Herald for the interview. So what? You invited me here. What was it you said? You wanted a chance to tell your side of the story? Yeah, well, things are different. What do you mean, different? It means I bloody well changed my mind, all right? Just great. <laughs> Shit, sorry, lady. I didn't realise that my dining was going to cause you so many problems. And maybe we can postpone it till, uh, till you're feeling more ready to cope with it. Look, I'm sorry. <sighs> you people. <laughs> Always judging books by the cover, aren't you? I mean, you look at low lives like me and we all look the same to you, from up there in your, in your fancy little houses and stuff. Beg your pardon? You. You look at people like me and you automatically assume we're criminals. You can't even imagine that I could be innocent. Look at you. Standing there shit scared. Three feet away from a convicted murderer. Now piss off, will you? How old are you? Go away. No. Mr. Wilson, this is your last chance to tell the world your side of the story. I think you should take it. I do, do you? Look, lady, don't kid yourself. Those people out there in the, in the real world, they don't give a damn whether I'm innocent or not. I'm just a name to them. There's something to talk about, you know, they're dinner parties. Until something more interesting comes along. How old are you? How old do you think I am? I don't know, 30? <laughs> yeah, you're closer to 40. Don't look it. 
You know, the years have been kind to me. Look, I just can't do this, all right? Yeah, you shouldn't smoke. These things will kill you. <laughs> Stephen, I can walk out of here now. Go back to the office. Spin the story the way I see it. Or... You can tell me your version of what happened. Look, I don't know, alright? I can't remember! Stephen, what was it that made you ask me here in the first place? I was a bloody idiot, right? Uh -uh. Obviously you knew who I was, didn't you? Have you ever read anything I've written? Because all I've ever written is fashion pages and film reviews. Nothing of substance. So why me? Fucked if I know. Does Helen alright? She's teaching me how to read. I can read real well. I used to, uh, used to read to her night time. Out the newspapers. You know, just a. Uh, the film, film reviews and that. How did the two of you meet? She was the best thing that ever happened to me. And I was the best thing that ever happened to her. After a couple of years, we moved in together. Both had steady jobs. She just finished secretary college. I was going to go to school again next year. Night time. <laughs> you know, we had to work damn hard to get where we were. Not like some people. His fathers give them everything. So you cleaned her up. You shared your life together. And then you killed her. I'm no criminal, all right? I've never done anything wrong in my whole bloody life. Don't you understand? I loved her. I can't tell you what happened because I don't know, all right? I can't remember. I can't remember. I can remember. You all right, Miss Spence? Miss Spence? Are you all right? Leave me. It's all right. Are you sure? It's all right. Stephen, I'm sorry. Now you get it, you're all the fucking same. Don't you get it? It doesn't matter anymore. Ellen's dead. Soon I will be too. Stephen, what can you remember? I was going to propose. Sacked up the whole year for that damned engagement ring. I was a bit nervy that day. And I told the fellas at work what I played. They all started congratulating me, shaking my hand. Anyway, we, we knocked off about half past three, and blokes all insist on buying me a drink.
Might have to go and get drunk. I told Helen to you'd be ready by six. Cause I booked this table at this flash restaurant for seven. When I walked in, she was, she was sitting on the lounge. She was spewing. When she saw I was a bit full, she, she just like. Where have you been? You're late. She's beautiful. Are you okay? Look at me, are you okay? Oh. You've been drinking. You bloody bastard. I have been sitting here worried about you for the last hour. And you're off getting pissed with your mates at the bar. I only had a couple of, a couple of drinks. Jeez. A couple of drinks, my ass. It's our anniversary, Steve. How could you? You've, you've got to ruin everything. Oh. Yes. What are you doing? Just getting a drink. I've had a rough day, all right? You bloody ruin everything, Steve. Everything! Yeah, so why don't you go out and try and kill yourself again then, eh? Next thing I remember this is these two coppers. They're dragging me out of the chair. They slapped handcuffs on me and there was blood. There's blood everywhere. There was this sheet. There's a sheet in the corner of us. It's covering a body. It was Helen. Did you do it, Steve? Did you kill Helen? I don't know. I don't know. You know, I ain't afraid to die. Dying ain't what scares me. It's dying. Not knowing. Thumbs up, Miss Pence. Please. Come on. Please just go away, would you? I just want to be left alone. You know, it's funny, all this fuss. My tomorrow will all mean nothing. Thank you.